At your service. Onto the Maker. You came from the Circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Lydia was my instructor. She was almost a mother to me. I never met a wiser soul than her. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick Circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. The war benefits no one. It must end, and order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. If that's true, then I'll put it to good use. I suppose we'll see. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Yes? Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the Circle? After the Circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the Circle would be in your debt. Yes? I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? If the Circle disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The Circle is an idea, my dear, and an idea cannot be dissolved. Many of the first Enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the Circle in two. The rebels follow her, the Loyalists follow me. If you lead all the Loyalists, why are you only First Enchanter and not Grand Enchanter? Grand Enchanters are elected, and since there are no First Enchanters besides myself, no vote can be held. 
I could name myself Grand Enchanter, but the title holds no meaning now. When the circles are restored, that will change. I've never been to the Mulsimard Circle. What was it like? A place of great history and tradition, with the greatest library of magical history outside of the Imperium. It was deeply involved in the great game, as you might expect of anyone living in Orlais. The mages there were quite competitive, but it was stimulating to be always pushed to exceed the abilities of my peers. How did we come to this state where the Circle's in revolt? You, my dear, are far too wise not to have realized that many of our colleagues live with their eyes closed. Safe from the world inside their towers, they thought only of the Templars and their own resentment. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia, again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars. Sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day.